subscribers today we're gonna talk all about money saving money as a mom as a woman just learning how to save money actually more so how I saved money because I had a few comments on how did I manage to save that much money with two kids so I'm gonna give you all my tips on how I managed to save that much money before we get into the video I've lost a little bit of weight. I don't know if you can tell or it's in my head, like, you know, when you feel like you've lost weight, but you're not sure whether you've lost weight because you're the only one saying, oh, I've lost weight and no, one's, no one else is saying you've lost weight. But anyway, I feel like I've lost, lost some weight. So comment down below if you feel like I have lost some weight. New hair, guys, back to black. I can't stay away from black hair. I just feel like when you have colored hair, it's nice, it's lovely. But I feel like colored hair is very much like, just for the moment, like forever, it's gonna be black on black. And I did it jet black, but I didn't dye it properly. So as you know, like I said, I do my own wigs. If you're interested in a hair tutorial um, or even to buy the wigs, let me know down below in the comments and I will surely fill you guys in. So let's get into it. For all my new subbies, I am Tammy Family. I am your average girl average mom who happened to make it from social housing which is house association cancel flat social housing to becoming a homeowner and i am here to give you my tips and give you advice and just help you along your journey if that is your plan to get out of your cancel flat and eventually become a homeowner i just want to help guys so so make sure you subscribe if you want some more content about how I, you know, moved from a cancel flat to a becoming a homeowner. I also do like motivational things, um, property things as DIY. I've got a nice DIY video coming. But um, yes, yeah, subscribe and let's get into the video. So I've got my notes here. Saving money. For your house deposit okay saving your house deposit how did i say my house deposit with two kids i'm gonna give you some of the tips my first tip would be bulk buy i cannot tell you how much this helped me bulk buy i mean bulk buy food um rice i mean you know i'm nigerian so rice um tomato plum puree noodles indomie all of it bulk buy because i feel like for me when i bulk bought um i wasn't going out to the shop as much to buy a lot of things um to stock up on on pack lunch food bulk buy that would be you know that's where you want to start start bulk buying because kids cost money and also kids like to eat and when they're on summer holidays hmm, kids they just eat 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 my son every minute mom can i something from the fridge mom can i something from the fridge mom can i something from the fridge it's like bro ugh, we need food for tomorrow you know so bulk buy if it's chocolate for snacks crisp just bulk buy a lot of things that will help you a lot because you're not gonna you're gonna not you're gonna save money by bulk buying and you're not gonna be rushing to the shop every two to three weeks because you need to buy more and buy more you are gonna need to stock up obviously but if you bulk buy i say bulk buy i mean like i bought i bulk bought for like the year so not the year, what am I talking about? For the month. So I'll, I'll bulk buy a lot, a lot, a lot for the month. And then the next month I'll buy again. So bulk buy, that will help you a lot. Okay. And the next one is very important. And you should do this whether you have kids or not. Cut out, like cut down your expenses. So Sky, you don't need Sky. Okay. There's a free view. You don't need Sky. There's free, they have CBBs. If your child likes Disney, I was a bit... Well, to be honest, no. When it come when it came down to it, I was like, this guy's going. But um, I know my daughter really, really loved Disney 
Disney Junior and I was like oh I don't want to cut it off because she loves it and it's educational but then I remembered listen we got YouTube um there's free view sorry honey this has to go so sky gone netflix gone gym gone um contract gone i said this in one of my other videos as well cut your outgoings down i'm talking spotify these are unnecessary things that you don't need um sky um just cut down on everything and if you can i did it off recent as well just because I'm a crazy saving lady and I've got no reason to do it, I just want to save money. Uh, I called up my phone company. I was like, listen, I'm leaving you guys. And I know, I'm know i sure everybody knows this trick. I was like, I'm leaving you guys. You know, somebody else is giving me cheaper internet. That's like £15 a month. If you can't match it, I'm going. They matched it. So, you know, also the bills that you do have, you feel like, oh, I can't get rid of this. I can't get rid of this. Try and call up the companies and um, try and reduce reduce it. You know, just say you're leaving or you're not happy with a service or whatever, stuff like that. You need to cut your costs down because you need more coming in than you have going out. So cut your costs down. I just had to let it come through. Okay, next is buy good quality things. Now I know I said bulk buy, which is like food and stuff, but buy good quality things. When you have kids, um, jacket, shoes, they wear this stuff out. Like my son, I can tell some stories about my son. I bought my son new school shoes. No, 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 no. I bought my son, uh, he, he was going to secondary school and you know, you have to buy the new uniform. I bought my son the new school child, secondary school trousers. And the thing is, I was thinking to myself, do you know what, should I go to eBay and buy the trousers? But I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna buy the school one, even though I know it's the same, but I'm just gonna buy it. Um, and my son came back from school, second day of, of the new term. Why does he have a hole in his trousers? Like literally a hole in his trousers. So, you know kids, as much as you can, you can't really prevent them, you know, losing their jackets and forgetting their packed lunchbox at school, but if you buy quality things, they can wear it a lot longer. So, good quality jacket. You know, I know it may be, it's like an expensive investment at first, but it will last them long. Um, good quality shoes. Shoes, let me tell you, I don't know whether it's just boys, but, my son, I, I think he's playing football in school with his shoe, I don't know, but my son will wear, well, his shoes come, he comes, he has his shoes for like three weeks and they, he comes home and they're talking, I don't understand. But to be honest, it's because I buy his shoes from like Shoe Zone, uh, school shoes from like Shoe Zone, and let's be honest, it's not the best quality shoes. So um, I bought him kickers and those one lasted him literally like the whole year, basically. So buy good quality things, buy good quality jackets, buy good quality pack lunch box, buy good quality um, scarf and hat, buy good quality things because in the long run it will help you because the kids will wear it for longer rather than you buying a cheap jacket from Primark and next time he needs another one. So buy good quality things for the kids, for your kids and for you and that will help you save money. Okay, my next, my next tip would be, and this is a hard one, rough it out. Rough it out, you have to. If there's something that you need, I said this in one of my other videos, if there's something that you need, but you can do without, I mean, I know that sounds weird, it's like I need it, but I can do without, but let me try and give you an example. Um, your scarf is probably like tattered, whatever, but you know, you can use a hair scarf, a few hair scarves and kind of bulk it around and make yourself feel warm. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but I'm basically just saying that you should rough it out. Don't go and buy new things because this is broken down. Try and find alternative ways to make it work. That's one of the ways I really saved money. I said in one of my previous videos, my TV broke down, um, it was smashed. Well, it had broken basically. And um, I had to, end up getting an old TV from my store cupboard and I used that until I moved. Do not buy new things, rough it out. I know it's not nice that, you know, people may come to your house and you've got a small TV and a big TV on the wall, or I know it's not nice, but you just, you have to think of, of long-term. Don't think about today, think about long-term. Long-term is that at the end of the day, I'm roughing it out now so that I can afford 
yeah, so that I can put money away for my deposit. Rough it out. Favorite one, favorite, favorite. I do this even just for fun, because I'm weird. Um, budget, 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 budget. That's the only way you're gonna save money, budget, okay? Know exactly everything. Listen, oh my gosh. So, yesterday, I thought to myself, I don't know, but randomly I just thought, I wonder how much I've been spending on Amazon, Amazon Prime, because I feel like I'm not the only one who, because Amazon Prime is like next day, or sometimes you can even get it same day, it, um, I just be spending money like a crazy woman, and as well, because everything's like, oh, one pound, two pound, or like five pounds, or ten pounds, like, that's not that much money. So yesterday, I kid you not, I thought, you know what, I'm going to see how much I've spent on Amazon in the last 30 days, because you can go on Amazon and click the last 30 days. So I've, I've, I've calculated everything, I've put it all together, including the Amazon Prime, because you have to pay for Amazon Prime, which is basically so that it will get delivered the next day. I have spent 150 pounds in 30 days. Now I know that's not a lot to some people, but to me, that is a hell of a lot of money on, did I really need those things? Or was it just because I, it was like so easy to get it the next day? I don't know, but 150 pounds to spend, I spent online. I just think that was ridiculous personally. So calculate everything that's, that you're spending that's coming in budget yourself put give yourself maybe only 50 pounds a month to spend on yourself and the kids i know that's hard but that goes into my last tip rough it out um you know give yourself um an entertainment budget give yourself budgets like if i if you spend over 100 pounds this month that's it no more we have to try and make something happen because I'm done for this month. Budget, that's the only way you're gonna make it. I, keep, I know I keep saying, for every two, that's the only way you're gonna make it, but literally, that's the only way you're gonna make it. Two, having kids is expensive, and also trying to save up money, 30,000 pounds deposit, it was not a joke. So I literally had to budget my whole life. I budgeted everything, down to um, food, clothes, um entertainment everything i budgeted everything and that's what you need to do budget my next tip would be okay you need to get creative because kids get bored very easily especially when you have summer holidays or after school or um just in general they just get bored all the time unless they have like their ipad and even after they have their ipad or their playstation they still get bored so you have to get creative because when I was saving my money, my children would want to go, my son would want to go swimming or go to the after school clubs and I had to cut all that down. So I got creative, like I'd get like um, arts and crafts and I'd be like, okay, we're going to make this today. Or um, I'd get, well, I'd bought him a football so that instead of him going to his football clubs, now he can just go outside in the park and kick the ball around. You know, we had movie night, which was like, oh yeah, that's, that's even, I can't take you to the cinema right now. So we're going to have movie night. Uh, what movie do you want to watch? I bought, um, I didn't buy popcorn that you ready made. I bought seed popcorns and I made popcorn. Um, and we had popcorn. Like I went hard. Get creative with the kids because your kids are going to get very, very bored when mommy can't take them to cinema, mommy can't take them to um, shopping, mommy can't take them to swimming. You're, they're going to get bored. So you need to get creative with your kids, whether it's um, um, colouring books, depending on what, what age they are. Do you know what I mean? If they're a bit older, you can give them tasks like... you give them tasks like if you do this chore if you do that chore you know um at the end of the month i'll give you five pounds stuff like that i mean i know you're trying to save money but you know five pounds ain't gonna hurt to give your child a little bit of five pounds doing chores just get creative because kids get bored and when the child when a child is bored they start coming to you and saying i'm bored i'm bored i'm bored and then you get frustrated and you get angry and it's like it's a whole mess so if you kind of get creative and think, okay, today we're going to do this task, today we're going to do this, we're going to go for a nice long walk by the park, we're going to take the dog out, we're going to do this, we're going to have, we're going to talk, we're going to interact, get to know your children a little bit more. You don't just have to sit there in front of the, the, the computer or the, the, the laptop, give them the iPad. You know, you can bond a lot more in this time that you're not spending money. So get creative. As well as getting creative, this might sit back, I don't know what number is. You need to try and make some more money. 
I know that this is one of the ones that, you know, people may not want to hear, but you need to try and make a little bit more money. In one of my other videos I said about side hustle, I told you I did cleaning on the side, I made wigs on the side, I um, I sold things on the side, I sold my pram, just the other day I sold my mirage book. You have to try and make some more money because with what I was earning, um, I was not saving up £30,000 with just that money. I had to make some more money somehow, babysitting, everything. You've got to get your hustle on. There is no way you are going to make all this money without getting your hustle on. And this is just, I'm just being brutally, brutally honest with you guys. You cannot sit there waiting for um, a miracle to happen before you start before you know you need to just get you need to make more money basically that's what i'm trying to say make more money try and do a side hustle try and cook if you can bake cakes bake cakes if you can um look after children look after children but you've got to make more money somehow so that because like you're trying to keep your outgoings down and you just keep your you need to keep what's coming in up whatever you can sell start selling start selling make more money make more money and last tip would be this is this is maybe like two tips in one okay have a plan now I, I think one of my subscribers said like she has a five-year plan which is great have a plan know that this is not gonna be overnight this may take one year this may take two years it may take five years but have a plan have every month you have your calendar you have your diary you know I'm a big fan of journals and diaries and planners and all that. You have your diary, you write how much you want to save this month, you write how much your outgoings are this month, you get like a five year plan. I've got a five year planner, I bought one off Amazon, I'll put the link down below so you can get it as well. Make a plan, it can be a five year plan, it can be a ten year plan. Understand that this thing was did not take me, um, it didn't take me like a day to do. It took time. It took a lot of time. So get a plan and be patient as well. Don't rush, 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 rush because, oh, I'm living in a cancer flat. I don't like it. My kids don't have space. I don't like the area. This, that, 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 that. Listen, what is meant for you will not pass you by. That is 100%. Whether you rush, whether you, you take your time, whether you jump, whether you fly, what is meant for you will not pass you by. So do not look at all these other people or even me saying, oh, I bought my house. Da, 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 da. Listen, you guys didn't see me when I was um, 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 struggling. You guys didn't see me when I was um, working all the hours, night, day and whatever, when my children um, couldn't watch their favorite programs on Sky. You didn't see that. What you're seeing now is my story after so just understand get in that hustle mode get in that grinding mode mommy needs to grind mommy needs to work and the only way you're gonna do that and and also feel some sort of some sort of satisfaction in your heart is by having a plan as well having a budget all these things I said but also taking time take your time because it's gonna happen for you and it will happen for you the best way possible if you take your time do not rush this thing buying a house is not a small thing it's a big deal it's a big deal I'm to a whole new area and even that takes time to get used to take your time okay patience is a virtue don't rush it you will get there have a plan take it day by day and you will get there don't look at what your friend is doing don't look at what this person is saying don't look at nothing just take your time mums Take your time, you'll get there. Your child's gonna have that big bedroom, you're gonna have that big garden. You're gonna be able to walk into your house and be like, well, I own this house. But just take your time. It's, 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 it's not by force and it's not a rush. It's not a rush. So guys, that is the end of the video. I have another video coming up. Um, I'm trying to do like some DIY things as well. So I have another video start to finish of how I did my bar. Um, that one sh should be out next week-ish. But tell me what you think of this video, guys. I hope you like the tips. I wish I could give you more and more and more. But like literally, this is all I did. I just hustled my ass. Stayed my ass at home. Nobody saw me for like a year, two years. Nobody saw me. I was just literally, my head 
was down working um yeah so like comment subscribe let me know what you think of the video what you want to see next and i'm going to do another video as well that will probably come out on saturday about the areas that i bought in i will let you know where i live the area i live and maybe some other areas that you can buy um you can look into as well that might be in your price budget Also, one more tip before I go, actually. When it comes to saving, I am, I am, a bit of breath. I came, I just went upstairs to get my purse. When it comes to saving, I am a very, I don't know how to say the word, but like, I like, I'm like A, B, C, I'm like a very orderly person. Some people can get their money, their paycheck and, um, you know spend this and spend that and then be like oh i'm gonna save this first no a good tip that i do when i get my money my paycheck i pay myself first and i have two bank accounts yeah and this is a bit extreme in it but this is what helped me i would set up a standing order from one bank account to another bank account and it would go in there every week so now i have 50 pounds a week going into my bank account this bank account from this bank account every single week and that's what helps me but when i was saving before as soon as i got paid i paid myself straight away that is a very good tip because once you can if you can just take the money out of your bank account and put it into another one straight away you know that it's done it's there close your eyes that's your bulk that you save for the month and any other little things that you 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 make you know while you're hustling um at the end of the month then you can put that one in but i find it very useful to me that every week not month this is what i do now every week i will put uh, 50 pounds in from this account i started with 25 actually i've gone up to 50 um and then i'll eventually go up to 75 i do it every single week so yeah guys comment like and subscribe I've never missed a car payment before. I'm on the electoral roll and I have good credit, but I still can't get a mortgage. Why?